Hi guys, this is Faith with Tampa Bay Ponds and Rocks, the most amazing pond store in Florida. So today I want to talk about how to acclimate your pond fish. So we always recommend testing your water before putting fish in your pond. The kit that we use is the API Pond Master Test Kit. It's really easy to use and it covers all the parameters necessary. So it's definitely the one that we would recommend. Make sure your levels are all good before adding new fish. Once you get your new fish babies home, place the bag in your pond in a secure location so it won't be drifting all over the pond or hitting into rocks and let it float for 15 to 20 minutes. I recommend setting a timer so you don't forget about them. Once the time is up, you can open the bag and put a little bit of your pond water into the bag. This is gonna help speed up the regulation process. After you do that, you let the fish float for another five minutes. Again, make sure the bag is secure. After five minutes is up, it's time to put the fish in its new home. We recommend using a pond net instead of your hands to take the fish out of the bag and place it into the pond. Do not empty the bag into the pond because it's going to be full of ammonia from the stress of moving the fish. So you don't want that water in your pond. Dump your water outside. It makes great fertilizer for plants or trees. We also recommend adding API stress coat to your pond anytime you add new fish. This helps remove chlorine, chloramines, and heavy metals from the tap water, but it also has aloe vera in it to help reduce the fish's stress. So it's a great product to use when adding fish to your pond. Now it's time to enjoy your new fish babies. And don't worry if your fish disappear for a little while. It could take your fish a little while to get used to its new surroundings and feel safe and secure before showing themselves again. Anywhere from a couple days up to a couple weeks is perfectly normal. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you found any of this to be useful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more expert water feature advice.